Hi, I'm Inbal, and this is One Minute Witcheries. Today, I want to take you through a weight and wellness meditation, going through your chakras and seeing if there are any blockages that prevent you from looking the way you want to look and living the way you want to live. The different chakras, the energy centers that run through our bodies can impact how we feel mentally, emotionally, and physically. I'm not a very big girl now, but in my history, I absolutely was. Um, so I've got a little picture to share with you from, I don't know, about 13, 14 years ago. This is me. And this is me. And this is me. Hey, Laura. And... I felt beautiful as a big girl and I loved being a big girl and it's really important for me to press upon you that you are beautiful exactly the way you are right now and you are wonderful exactly the way you are now. I've been very big, I've been very small, I can tell you that I've been the same person throughout and that is awesome. For my own personal story, I needed to lose weight because I couldn't conceive. And when I lost weight, I was able to have my beautiful four children. And since I've had the children, I kind of stuck with this because this is my body now and this is who I am. And that's great for me. I don't want you to do anything because you think you should or in order to conform to anything. No, we're approaching this from a place of releasing blockages, not acquiring new ones. So if you're ready to go through your chakras and figure out how to move forward with it, take a deep breath, put your feet firmly on the ground, nothing crossed, no crossed arms, no crossed legs, and let's Breathe in very, very deep, allowing each in-breath to go all the way down your legs, through your feet, and each out-breath draws energy right from the ground, through your feet, through your whole body, and exhaling. Inhale very deeply. Exhale completely. You are safe secure and loved. With each in-breath, you feel your body being filled with love and with each out-breath, you release anxiety and stress. With the next exhalation, out-breath, you feel energy rising through your feet, through your legs, and right to a glowing red orb at the top between your legs. This is your base chakra, it is red, and that is where we hold on to anger, but also enthusiasm. Breathe into that chakra and feel whether that red orb is spinning or whether it is blocked. Exhale stress and anxiety. Inhale enthusiasm for a new regime that you might start, a new fitness routine that you might want to get excited about, a new sport. Feel the energy traveling further up to just below your belly button where your sacral chakra is. That's a chakra that has to do with creativity and with creation. So if you've ever given birth to a baby, to an idea, to a job, to a project, and there are still lingering stresses there, 
the orb of orange light that we want to see there might be blocked and not spinning. Breathe in creativity that will allow you to come up with new meal ideas or new fitness ideas and breathe out any guilt or discomfort that is associated with the birth experiences that you've had. Let the energy travel further up to around your diaphragm where your solar plexus is. That should be a spinning orb of yellow light. And this is where we have unbridled joy. Breathe in happiness into your solar plexus and exhale any negativity, any criticism or judgment that you have felt towards your weight, perhaps from family members or from people who wanted to hurt you. See the orb spinning faster and faster. Let the energy travel further up to right in the center of your chest where your heart chakra resides. The color green is what we're aiming for. Some people might see it as pink and that orb of light is spinning with self-love and self-empowerment. Know that you are loved. Know that you are wonderful just the way you are and that you will be wonderful just the way you will be and that you have been loved just for who you were. Release any feelings of being unlovable, impossible to get on with. Release those feelings that tell you you've done something wrong or you are something wrong and flood that whole area with self-love and promises to look after yourself. Let the energy travel further up to the center of your throat where the color blue will fill an orb of light that is in charge of your communication. If you feel that this is blocked, then ah, sing to it. Allow the throat to feel more liberated. Allow yourself to feel safer when you speak. Sometimes literally looking after your throat with a sip of hot drink or a lozenge um, will help that chakra get released. See the chakra spinning, see that orb of light spinning and this will help you communicate. When you need to sit in a restaurant you feel embarrassed to say hold the oil. The blue chakra will help you state where you are and what you want. If you feel uncomfortable discussing it with people around you or with your partner, that communication chakra will allow you to find the words to do it so that you're able to say, I'd like to take better care of myself. I'd like for us to start something exciting together for our fitness. Let the energy travel further up where a purple orb of light should be spinning right in the center of your forehead. This is your third eye and this is your psychic and spiritual chakra. This might be blocked if you don't believe that you have abilities that will allow you to communicate with other people in different ways or communicate with the other side. When your third eye is working properly, then you're able to get ideas and inspiration and chat to people fearlessly about their own journey, their own fitness journey, their own wellness journey, and take their ideas and feel no jealousy and feel no shame in your process. Let the energy travel further up right to the top of your head, your tallest part in your whole body. And here we want to see a thousand petaled lotus in the colors of white and silver opening beautifully. This is your connection to the divine. And so 
whoever you believe in, whichever your main deity is, connect with it. Say a little prayer or make a little pledge or see the face of that deity in your mind's eye and see how they approve of you on the other side, how they think you're amazing and you've always been more than enough. Allow each in-breath and each out-breath to course through your body, allowing all those energy centers to spin in unison. Take mental note whether one of those chakras still feels blocked. Come back to the meditation and let's work on it some more. The more you do it, the stronger you'll become in yourself, in your ethereal body, in your conviction and in your ability to move forward. Keep breathing in and out. And when you're ready, let's start closing the chakras one by one so that you're not left vibing all over the place. Feel the thousand petaled lotus at the top of your head closing gently. The energy travels further down to your third eye where the orange, sorry, where the purple orb of light slows down. The energy travels further down to your throat chakra where the blue orb of light slows down. The energy travels further down to your heart chakra where the green orb of light slows down. The energy travels further down where your yellow orb of light slows down. The energy travels further down where your orange orb of light slows down. The energy travels further down to your base chakra where the red light slows its spinning and you return all the energy right back to the earth. Stamp your feet a little bit, clap your hands to bring yourself back to your body. I know you're going to do amazing with this. I actually offer a service where I support people through um, talking about it, allowing yourself to be held accountable um, through helping you put together your own menu. I'm not a nutritionist, but I do it based on astrology um, and on my own experience. In terms of weight loss, the slower you go, the better it is. Um, hurrying it is, is very, very risky indeed. Um, now, Give me a second because I put some notes on the side and I haven't consulted them at all. So let me see if there's anything I forgot to say. Uh, I think the only thing I forgot to say is that this is dedicated to my very special friend who is right now shedding for the wedding and I'm going to be helping her with this. So lots of love. If you do want to do this, and you're feeling a little lonely, I can help you nail this. I know you can. Thank you for meditating with me. I'm Inbal, and this has been One Minute Witcheries.